now, Everett, um, I also want to talk about um, your other platform of radar detectors, the STI, the radar detectors that are immune uh, to the law enforcement devices uh, such as the Spectre. Um, you know, these are detectors specifically designed uh, for the professional driver. Yes. Uh, and also perhaps people that are driving in uh, states or even countries where radar detectors are illegal. Um, your STI line, the STI driver, the dash mounted unit, and the STIR remote uh, really are, you know, the only two radar detectors that I really know of that are immune. Um, they are 100% electronically undetectable by any radar detector detector. And we do this using several different technologies including the dual antenna as one. Uh, we shield them. What we essentially wind up doing is eliminating any leakage that comes out of the detector so that there is nothing for the specter to pick There's up. There's nothing to detect. The final stage in manufacturing of these detectors is to put a completed unit in an anechoic chamber that is about this long the Spectre on one end, powered up, and the new STI driver or STIR on the other end. If the STIR or the STI driver causes the Spectre to alert, that unit fails QC and will not be shipped as a product. Every unit must be 100% undetected. Well, I uh, recall about a year ago, was at your plant. Yes. And I personally observed this, and it's not only uh, when you're testing each individual unit uh, against the STI or against the Spectre, but every radar detector that comes off, you know, off the floor is tested. Not only, uh, you know, against the Spectre, but also, you know, put up, the, you know, with other devices to make sure they detect the radar properly, uh, the proper signal strength. I mean, each detector is taken and you know, hand examined, and uh, I'm not sure how other companies do it, but. You know, from experience of being in this industry that's, you know, so many years, <coughs> it, it's not uncommon for another company or another brand of radar detector to have a high failure rate. You know, I'm familiar with your product, I've been in this industry, and your failure rate was close to zero. Yes. And it's because every single unit is hand tested by a human being. By a human being, by various different machines, computers, and not just tested once, tested at a number of different uh, points in the manufacturing process, uh, in different parts of its configuration, leading up to the final series of tests which are done when the unit is completed. It is given every opportunity to fail because the one thing we don't want to have is somebody driving with one of our detectors experiencing a failure at the wrong time. And that's so true. You know, and you guys, I, I can't commend you, because I, I witnessed this firsthand. Uh, your, your quality control was fantastic. Um, your, your, your staff up there were wonderful. And uh, you know, it was really a great experience in getting the tour there at the Bell and Esquire plant and seeing this firsthand. I, Everett, I really want to thank you for your time today. Um, you know, I, I know you're going to probably enjoy the you know, warm weather out here <laughs> yes, uh, over the next few days. Uh, come down to Arizona whenever you have an opportunity. Um, we're going to be, you know, checking out the, you know, some other uh, displays here. We're going to be going out, you know, of course, to Cobra Electronics. Again, my good friends over at Rocky Mount Radar. We'll give them a hard time for a little bit too. But you know, these are the guys of the industry. These guys right here, the Everett, uh, Escort, Beltronics. These guys set the standard uh, in the radar detector industry. These are the guys to meet right here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Roy. Hey, guys, thank you for watching. We'll be right back with you. This is Radar Roy. Have a great day. Oh, good.